Hello, my name is David Smith, and this is Virtus Walkthrough. Uh, Virtus Walkthrough uh, was one of the very first real-time uh, 3D design tools, created in 1990. Uh, it was written by Mark Dillon, David Easter, and myself, uh, and uh, based on a lot of the uh, things I learned in creating the game The Colony. This application uh, has a number of windows, as you can see. Uh, this this window here is uh, sort of a top view, uh, design view. This is the uh, uh, camera or, or user, and, and uh, over on the right-hand side is what he sees. Notice there's nothing there. It's just a blue background. Uh, the tool buttons and then the, the content uh, window here. Um, creating objects inside of here is quite easy. It's a generalized extrusion model, so you basically uh, you just select the shape that you want, in this case uh, a rectangle. I'm going to make a, a quick room and you just click drag and, and release and it automatically uh, creates uh, a block for you. In this case uh, it's going to be a rectangular block. If I come over here you'll see the corner. Uh, and of course uh, once you have that block it has an inside and an outside. So what I'm going to do is edit that front, and uh, I can uh, basically cut holes in it, and I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to cut a, a doorway in there. And the doorway is fully editable, so I can move it around, make it bigger, make it smaller, whatever you like, and maybe put some windows in there. So I'm going to make those semi-transparent, and I'm just going to uh, draw that in, and uh, I want to change the color and so I can just drop that and let's, uh, let's put some windows on the other side and about there and duplicate it again and it's going to be off a bit so I'm going to move that over there. So now I've got uh, three windows into our room. I'm going to walk inside. What I'd like is to, uh, the, you know, it's very spare here, very simple. Let's, let's actually tile the floor. So I'm going to grab one of these uh, uh, from the content window. I'm going to grab uh, a, a floor tile. So I just did that. That looks much nicer. Uh, walk inside and let's uh, add something to the wall. So I'm going to grab spotlight walls. That's it. And uh, let's see what's a nice color this one. Uh, let's drop those on. So making this place really ornate. There we go. And then let's get a ceiling. Um, something like uh, maybe that. Yeah, that's not bad. So we've created our space really, really quickly, as you can see. And it doesn't look too bad. And of course, uh, those windows and doors we can see in and out. So um, what I'll do is uh, get a 3D model. I'm going to go uh, back to the top view and I'm going to just drag uh, one of these objects, in this case a car, right in front of the the, the door here. Um, say about there. And so there's our uh, 3D model of a, of, a, of a car and we can of course see it through the windows and stuff. So it's quick and dirty and yeah, you get to fly around while you're doing this. Um, let's uh, also add um, some furniture in here. So I'm going to uh, open, uh, let's see this. And I think I have a reception seating. Actually I want maybe a living room kind of thing. Yeah, there we go. And I'll just drop that into the corner. So there's our living room. Now, we can, uh, this is a single room, but we can actually put, uh, create another one real quick. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, make a, a, a room right next to the one we're in. Uh, maybe something like that. And uh, then I'm going to take, um, and of course this, this room can be moved around. I'm going to uh, take this connection tool and connect these two together. The reason that's interesting is now uh, what I can do is um, I'm going to switch over to here. 
I'm going to edit that wall. Let's zoom in a bit. And uh, let's cut a door through there. And what happens is that door now goes straight into that other room that we just created. And um, I'm, I'm going to do a, a quick hip roof uh, now. And uh, what I want is that roof go from uh, on this part. Uh, first thing I know, I want to make this. Uh, I'm going to go to front view. And you can see how I can uh, resize the, uh, the building. So I go to the top front view, and then what I'm going to do is uh, create a, a roof that goes from here to here. And then I'm going to go to the right side and select this uh, sort of freeform polygon tool and create my roof. And of course, it's still got that other texture. I don't want that texture. Um, what I do is grab hold of a um, exterior textures, and I'm just going to put there. So I have a shingle roof now. Um, now, that, that roof I wanted to create as a hip roof. So what I've got is a slice editor here. And the slice editor actually allows us to take that individual object and slice it up. So we take the slice tool and we can literally cut off parts of it like so. And uh, so now you can see different parts. And of course, if I walk around my little building, you'll see uh, that it's it's got that roof and it maintained the textures that it had there before. Uh, so it's pretty much uh, exactly what I wanted to have there. Um, now, next thing I want to show, I want to maybe put a stairway in there. I'll just, uh, in fact, I'm going to uh, create a real quick and dirty stairway here. I'll, I'll maybe I'll just do it outside. Um, let's, I need to um, zoom in just a bit. And I want this to be, uh, uh, let's see. There we go. So I'm going to uh, make my, my stair uh, about six inches. This is uh, a little taller than most stairs would be, of course. And I want to go, um, let's see, I want to put it right here. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit. And then I'm going to make my first stair. Before I do that, let's get the, let's select the texture I want to make it out of, which will be a wood texture. So there we go. And uh, let's make uh, five feet seems a little long, so let's make it about four feet. So I've made my first stair there. And uh, I want to zoom in just a bit. Um, what we do next is duplicate that object. And so I've got the second one. Uh, notice I can see the uh, rest of the, uh, uh, the furniture and stuff there. There we go. So I'm going to stack these two together. Actually, I want to put a little space between them. Uh, or maybe not. I'll just stick it like that. And then let's go to the top view and just tweak it a little bit. Now I'm going to move it actually this way. And then what I want to do, I want to make a spiral staircase. So I'm going to rotate this just a bit like that. Okay. So what I've got is these two stairs offset from each other with a, a fairly complex transform. But what I can do now is take that. And the next time I duplicate it, it will uh, take that next step. And so that's what I'm going to do is literally, uh, and there we go. There's creating my little uh, spiral staircase. And of course, you can just walk right up that. There you are.